how to list a house for sale by owner. When you're learning how to list a house for sale by owner, you need to understand that it's not just about putting a sign in your front yard. There are proven steps that will pay off with time saving and financially rewarding results. Think of this as a war. Any war is won in small battles, and making your home sell is no picnic in the park. It will take educated decisions, determination, motivation, and for some hard physical work. Each step is a small battle accomplished as you move towards the final sale. Here are some goals. One goal is to get every possible dollar from the sale of your home in these very difficult economic times. This means making your home stand out and above anything comparable on the market. Make it a valuable home with many sought after features. Appeal to the masses, not just a few that will help broaden your buyer's market. To sell your home quickly is another goal with also calculating your expenses involved. No house is going to be the perfect home for someone else. For sale by owner step by step battle plan. For sake of examples, we're going to tell you about Angie and Mark, homeowners in the San Jose, California area. Knowing they could save 4-6% to or more on commissions of a broker, which meant $38,000 for them, they began considering selling their home by themselves. The decision was made. They would use the $38,000 to upgrade the house, while doing so would increase its value by an additional $100,000 as a result. If done correctly, you can save a great deal of money. But done incorrectly, you may end up losing money. Step 1. A winning strategy. Selling at home yourself without a broker is easier than most people think, but you must have an objective battle plan. Starting with your timeline, a few months before you are ready to list your home is the best idea. Decide when you will have time to accomplish as this all the cleaning, repairs, remodeling, or additions to make the home to sell fast. Determine who your buyers are and find the marketing available to you in your local area. Be objective, have a few friends or family members give you their suggestions as well. Step 2. Ownership and Value of Your Home First, go to your local county courthouse and check for any liens against your property. If there is, you can hire a real estate attorney or an insurance agent who specializes in them to fix the issues for you. Angie and Mark also spent about $350 for an appraiser who gave them an accurate and current evaluation for their home and property. This appraisal is official documentation that will add to your home value. Step 3. Eliminate Surprises No one wants a surprise in the final hour. By getting a professional inspection of your home, you can find and fix any problems that would be sure to slow down the sale process of your home. If it is not structural or an immediate concern, you can incorporate that into your negotiated price with a prospective buyer. Step 4. Location, Location, Location Be an educated seller because you are up against educated buyers. However, that is a good thing because they know what they want and you are going to give it to them. Use the internet to find what houses are selling for closest to home in your own neighborhood. Then take a few walks at different times of the day, noting any similarities in your home and theirs. Learn more about your competition so that you can match or exceed it. This will also help you begin your first improvements or remodeling list. Step 5. Who are your buyers and where to find them? Determine who these potential buyers are and begin your draft sales copy. This will change as you come closer to your listing date, and by then you will have all of the facts. Remember that your prospective buyers will come from all directions if you had marketed correctly. Some will come from flyers you have put up in your area, some from your local newspaper ads will drive by. There will be emails and drive-by lookers from your internet ads. If you have listed your home for the insertion in the multiple listing service, there will be brokers stopping by. Number 6. Home Improvements, Clean, Declutter, Stage to Sell The inspections are done, the repairs to be made listed with prices for supplies, and you are working to set the place straight. Don't forget the curb appeal. People love driving up to a house with pruned edges and freshly mowed lawns. Kids' toys, inside and out, neatly, can be tucked away. 
Remove or recover old furniture, replace old carpets, do all the home improvements that will increase the chances that you will get a better offer on your home. Step 7. Listing your house. When listing your home for sale by owner, some paperwork, especially at closing, can get a little tricky. Some opt to hire a real estate agent, broker, or mortgage specialist to walk them through it, while others find it a breeze. Regardless, you will want to make a nice booklet for your prospective buyers and have them ready to hand out. At this time, you want to have all of your listing and marketing materials on hand. Those will include your legal documentation on home, survey, mortgages, your deed, and insurance, along with your inspections and results. You will want pictures and or video walkthroughs, your pricing documents, and the total measurement as well as individual room measurements. Don't forget that the marketing needs will include your yard sign, flyers, and handouts for your local area, your online ads, and websites to post them to. When you sell your home yourself, you must also be prepared to negotiate with seasoned and savvy investors. Using the For Sale by Owner website can make it a lot easier for you. They even supply you with handy templates on how to list your home for sale by owner.